Hello YouTube, this is Charter Yu-Gi-Oh! And today I'm going to talk about how I feel that the top decks right now, in my opinion, being Quill for Burning Abyss, and Shadals, should be hit on the ban list. While I think we are in a fairly decent format right now, I it is ban list season, there will be a new list coming out at the end of this month, so it's time to start, start speculating on what we think is going to happen. Obviously, Shadal's Burning Abyss Queen Quilliforts are the three main targets. Um, Quilliforts, I feel, are the least likely to be hit, but I still feel that since the deck is extremely powerful, especially relative to the Tier 2 decks right now, which have been almost completely pushed to the wayside this format. So I think they'll be hit a little bit. The obvious solution for hitting Quilliforts is similar to the obvious solution for hitting Shadal's, just hit their main card. For Quilliford being Scout, and in my opinion, Shadal Fusion. Because if you limit Shadal Fusion, then it forces them to not be quite as dependent on their Fusion boss monsters. And if you limit Scout, it means that they have to focus on generating advantage in other ways. Versus just searching out everything and then spamming the field. Maybe they could play Control with Helix or Carrier. But it just tones down the deck a lot. I feel that's highly unlikely to happen, at least this ban list, I think feel that it will happen eventually, but at least this ban list, because I think Quilliforts will be around for a little while longer. Um, for Shadals, I feel like Shadal Fusion will be the card hit, probably just to limit, just to take them down a little bit. Like, they have El Shadal Fusion now, so it wouldn't be quite as bad, but... Should all fusion being able to send from the deck definitely puts that card on a level above any of their other fusion cards. So that would mean that they can't spit out fusion monsters quite as easily as they do now. It wouldn't kill the deck at all, but it would tone them down a bit, which I feel will probably happen. Burning Abyss are a much harder one to discuss because they don't really have a key card that could be hit. You could argue Fire Lake, but it seems unlikely that they would hit a back row support card. For me, I think the best way to hit Burning Abyss would be to limit Dante, because that means that the deck, while it can still generate extreme levels of advantage and control the field with with their back row, it wouldn't be as um it, it wouldn't loop as well. Like you wouldn't have Dante bringing back back row and then bringing back other Dantes and just looping Dante in the back row pretty much infinitely so you wouldn't be able to recycle fire lake and just recycle things as well so a limited dante wouldn't kill the deck they would have to focus more on virgil probably as their boss monster but that's just how i feel about it i haven't even really put a great deal of time speculating ban lists just because i don't really think it's a worthwhile thing to discuss but it's definitely interesting to think about so if you guys have a, your own opinions which i'm sure you do it's probably Ban lists are probably the most divisive topic in Yu-Gi-Oh, not even kidding, which maybe that'll be something else to discuss later, but for now, just post what you think down below, and peace out, YouTube.